Hello everyone, welcome to the Virtual Factschule. My name is Oscar and today we will be re revisiting a project that I haven't been working on for quite some time now. Currently I'm very busy editing a video about the supposed supremacy of the spear over the sword and while doing that I came across this little gem that I'd never quite bothered to publish before. Why exactly? Well, I don't remember anymore. But a couple of months back, my good friend Kasper and I started a project to use Andre Paulenfeind's fight book uh, for beginner fencers from the early 16th century and using its staff section to try and learn as much as we can about early 16th century halberd fighting. Um, unfortunately, the project is currently a bit on hold and we will pick it up in time, but for now, this is the last bit of video that we shot and I never quite got around to put it online. So here it is. Without further ado, let's quickly break down the penultimate page of André Paulenfeind's staff section uh, in his fight book from 1516. Enjoy! First off, Paulenfeind is notoriously hard to read, so this is just one possible interpretation. The first piece offers a really big swing that the opponent must parry, because taking the halberd to the knee is rather detrimental to one's adventuring career. This then gives us the possibility to swing around to the left side. The counter to this is pretty cool. We defend against the first attack with the point down and the second with the middle part of the shaft so that we can hit the opponent then with the butt end of the halberd. There is an alternative as well, and that one is pretty brutal. After parrying both strikes, you can slam your halberd head into the opponent's knee in the inside. We are taking it easy here, but at full speed this will probably knock them off that leg. If we continue the movement by then heaving upwards and towards their remaining standing leg, you might be able to throw the opponent to the ground after that. Okay, the next piece is pretty straightforward, but quite useful. If someone thrusts at you with a halberd, you use the right hand point, that is the bottom part of the halberd, which is near your right hand, to offset their thrust, immediately thrust into the face afterwards. On to the next one, and this piece is useful if you find that one of your big swings has missed. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. If this is you, there's pretty much one thing you can do now. Throw up your halberd over your head and pray that your shaft is still sturdy enough to catch the opponent's strike. And of course, pray that your opponent doesn't know the following counter. So, if they've missed a strike and then they defend, heaving up their hands like that, thrust downward towards their face. And if they defend that, you bring your point down between their two hands and their body. Then heave up and take the halberd out of their hands. They are now at your mercy. And that's it. 
there's one more page left in the staff weapon section of Powder Fights 5 book and we will get to it eventually. When we do though, we have been toying with the idea of going beyond just showing the techniques and maybe break down the system a bit more to help people to learn to fight with the halberd themselves. So let me know if people are interested in that. Of course, when we do get to it, it will first be available on Patreon along with some extra content on the subject. So check it out if you're interested. Also, don't forget to leave any questions you have for me as a comment down below. It could be pertaining to this video or something else entirely. I'm thinking about experimenting with some sort of ask me anything video format from time to time and using that to help me answer all the excellent questions that I get on the videos here. So if you have one of those, uh, if you have anything to ask me, uh, you know where the comment section is. Anyway, thanks for watching and okay do it.